What is up, all gamers? Welcome back to Kingdom of Honduras Part 2. I forgot what the full name of this title or let's play was. It was something like K O C H R. That's right, Coacher. Something like, yeah, Coacher. And let me see if I can actually get the full name or remember the full name Kingdom of Central Honduran Republic. Got it. Okay, that's what the full title of this Let's Play was. But uh, in the last part, which was a month ago, actually, I think, I took out Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua. And in this part, I'll be taking out Belize, uh, Costa Rica, and Panama, finishing off the last remaining Central American nations. And then in the next part, uh, as you guys have said, or uh, Luis Rodriguez, uh, you want me to take on Mexico even though they're my allies, so I'll be taking out Mexico in the next part I guess and again, I'm not sure about the Caribbean islands. I really hate you guys know me But I really hate doing landfall invasions and building a bunch of transportation ships and just invading island nations. I just hate that and uh, I think you guys are requesting me to take out of course the Caribbean island nations, so I guess I'll have to do it probably maybe who knows and yes I didn't stream today again again I'm not feeling I'm not feeling like streaming for some reason I don't know why but I'll get to it eventually I'll announce it when I do I promise for real even though I've been saying that a hundred times and whatnot but I eventually will stream sooner or later I'm just not feeling I'm not feeling that motivation of streaming on twitch right now i just i don't know why this whole entire month basically i've been feeling like that hopefully by the next month which is also my birthday by the way uh i do start streaming a lot more often usually of course on tuesdays and fridays and occasionally thursdays if i have time and um the steam sale is going on right now as well for halloween that means the 10th steam contest is about to begin and I'll be giving away between 5 to 10 games to 5 to 10 random winners. And I'll be announcing the winners in about 2 to 3 weeks afterwards on Twitch. So follow me there. Link below. Can't wait to give you guys some games. And I'm so close to reaching 1,000 subscribers. So that's another 5 games that I'll be giving away once I reach my 1K milestone. Keep that in mind. Alright, without further ado, um, I'll be taking out Costa Rica and also Belize at the same time. Screw it. Let's do it. Even though, actually, yeah, Belize has no military whatsoever, so I really, all I need to do is just send, like, one or two units. They've only got one engineer there, no garrisons. They usually have a garrison in their capital in Belize City, but looks like they don't. So, you know what? Guys, hang on. Let's just send about three units. Yeah, I think that'll do, hopefully. <laughs> As for Costa Rica... I've got a few units, but again, relatively easy. Panama is the one I gotta, you know, worry about. Actually, I don't even have to worry about none of these nations, man. I've taken them out before. Relatively easy. And I think Panama has more units in the reserves, probably. I know they have more. Alright, declare war on Costa Rica. We got more reserves in here as well. Liberia. Conscripts, recons, and declare war on Belize. Bam. There we go. Alright. Here comes their engineer, and they're deploying their only patrol ship that actually has a missile loaded. Oh, wow. Surprise, surprise. I don't want to destroy that engineer, guys. Keep it alive. You know, it's just one, one engineer, but you know, I'll take anything. Alright, we wait it out now. Let's stay in their capital, actually. Now for Costa Rica now. Control ships don't care about. And Belize is eliminated. Next week, again, more verses and a continuation of a Let's Play. Probably on Wednesday or Friday. Probably Friday, which will be the Middle Eastern Coalition. I gotta continue that as well. And speaking of which, uh, Egyptian Syndicate. I don't know why. I haven't uh, done a video for it yet or streamed it, even though I'm already done with it, basically. All I have to do is take out the remaining, uh, what is it, island nations, actually, that are located in the Indian Indian Ocean, which include Madagascar, Mauritius, I think that's how you say it, Comoros, and 
what is it, Seychelles. Those are the last remaining four African nations that I have to take out. And I don't know why I'm not continuing it. But sooner or later, I have to. Just so I can end that Let's Play and start a new one, of course. Either Panem Rising or Trump 2020. <laughs> Can't wait for that. That's what I'm more excited about. Any repairs needed? Mm. Screw it, light infantry. Out of here. Here we go. Now attack San Jose. Speaking of Costa Rica, I really want to go to Costa Rica. And I think my dad wants to retire there when he's a, when he's a, when he finally does retire. I think he's gonna want to go to Costa Rica and retire there instead of retiring in the States. Because right now, retiring in the United States is uh, no bueno, I guess you can say. But you know, Costa Rica, lovely place. Really want to visit. And there goes Costa Rica. Now we wait for the supplies. And head on towards Panama. The last remaining Central American nation. Alright. Of course, this is in the uh, Divided Planet, by the way. Divided Planet mod. French Guinea is eliminated by Brazil. Usually happens. And I'm so glad that I made an alliance early on for this Let's Play with a. Uh, Colombia, just so they don't have to attack me. I mean, I'm not, I could I could sign a non-aggression pact, but that usually never works. It usually works, you know, 50% sometimes. And the other 50%, they usually just declare war, even though I have a non-aggression pact with that nation. So, I decided to make an alliance with Colombia and also Mexico. Dang it, I should have done something with the other, uh, what is it, states. I should have done some treaties with them at least Austin and uh, the Southwestern Republic cuz everyone in the US hates me basically or the divided states I should say it's not the United States it's the divided states now DSA all right we're ready let's get a move on guys and repair these patrol ships oh, you're good you can stay there the rest of my units are up by Mexico or Mexico, the proper way to saying it. All right. Diplomatic relations, Honduras feels. Oh, that's me. Never mind. All right, here we go. Panama's turn. <clears throat> oh yeah, and Sunday I'll be uploading a Homeworld 2 versus. By the way, the Geth versus the Reapers on. Uh, the mod called Mass Effect Reborn. So stay tuned for that as well. Repair this tank. I want all my units repaired just to be ready against uh, Mexico. Even though I have an alliance with them, they really won't declare war. Again, just to let you guys know, if you do have an uh, if you do have an alliance with a nation, they will never go to war with you. Some people have uh, been saying. If I have an alliance, will they betray me? No, that never happens. If you have alliances made, no, that nation will never declare war on you. But if you have treaties signed, like the non-aggression pack, uh, again, 50-50, they'll either never attack you or they'll attack you. So, you know, it sways side to side. It's, you know, it's balanced, basically. Either they hate you or just... <laughs> I don't know, man. You have the best luck. Because for me, that usually never works. I sign non-aggression packs, and it usually never works. Especially with, in, especially, especially in the Middle East, I usually sign uh, non-aggression packs. But again, they usually declare war, declare war on me, even though I have that treaty signed. So just, just a heads up, guys. A quick, a quick tip, I guess you can say. Alright, they're sending the recons. Firstly. We got four garrisons. Anti-tank. Patrol ship. Uh, nothing too major. Two garrisons in, uh, what is it? This town here. La Torreira. Torreira. Ah, <sighs> alright. I just can't believe Halloween's already, already around the corner that quickly. What happened to October? I feel like... Every month, 
towards the end of the year, days go by faster for some reason. I don't remember what happened in September. Already October, I really don't know what happened. It's disappearing in a blink of an eye, just like that, with a snap. October is already leaving us. Halloween's gonna be gone already, and then of course we ha we'll have to look forward to uh, Thanksgiving's Day. Well, here in the U.S., of course, but. People really don't care about Thanksgivings, to be honest, here in the United States. They're just looking forward to Christmas and New Year's. Because uh, already, in some superstores and around here locally, there already there's already uh, Christmas items and decorations. Right besides Halloween, Halloween items and decorations, basically. You can already get Christmas trees and whatnot. Like, come on, man. Give Halloween a chance. And then, of course, again, Thanksgivings. Nobody gives, a, gives that a chance. Uh, my family and I usually celebrate it sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> but again, not a lot of people care about it too much. They just want Christmas to come by. That's what people want. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Ah, oh well. Black Friday's gonna happen soon during Thanksgiving as well, so I'm looking forward to that. I gotta get new headphones, a new keyboard, a new mouse. That's what I really need. And uh, I guess I'll attack Panama City right now. Screw that. I don't wanna wait. We got enough supplies, right? Yeah, we got enough supplies. Oh crap. My he's not gonna make it probably. He's gonna get destroyed. Repair these units. Ah, dang it. Whatever. Whatever, I got plenty and I can build more. And we got Panama that just surrendered like that. So. Panama is eliminated, Belize is eliminated, and Costa Rica is eliminated, and that is the end of part two of the Kingdom of Honduras. Look at the divided states going at it over there in, uh, what is it, the Gulf in Florida. But again, uh, hopefully I'll be streaming soon, guys, and next week, more verses in the continuation of Middle Eastern Coalition. As always, our boat gamers, thank you for watching my videos. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Love you all.